Hey folks, uh, welcome to the kitchen. I am going to be doing uh, eggs today. I'm going to boil eggs and I'm going to jar the eggs for you. I won't show you the recipe of the concoction called sweet and heat that I make. Sorry, not sorry, but uh, I will show you how I boil my eggs. My mom used to boil them in, in, in water uh, for 15 minutes. I still do 15 minutes, but the, the process she used, uh, once she pours the water out, she puts cold water in it to shock that, that clear membrane around there so that the shell supposedly come off a little quicker. But uh, I do not use my method. I will never use that method anymore. Sorry, mom. But uh, once I try this method here, I will never go back to anything else. That's what she said. Uh, but I, uh, I'm going to boil these. We'll kind of steam them, but I'll show you that. Uh, and I'm going to show you in the quart jars um, how I do my jarring process. Uh, so with that said, meet you at the stove. Got your water. A little steam pot. Of course, we need the eggs. Some jars. And a basket. Hey, welcome to the stove. I have my pickling juice here. It's the sweet and heat pickle juice. Um, I can't give my recipe away, so no matter how much you ask or put a gun to me, I cannot do it. Uh, I have my honey here. I'm about to uh, do this later on. I won't do a video of it, uh, but just heat, heating this up to a certain temperature with the candy thermometer, uh, like so, and uh, get the wax in the honey to have two different uh, layers so you can pull the wax off and you harvest the honey. I'm gonna get that off the stove since we're not doing that. I'm going to get this little steamer basket, Dilly Bob. I think it's for, it's for pasta as well, but uh, this basket here, I'm not gonna need to use because I'm gonna fill this up all the way. But if I only had like half, like something in eggs, I'll put, you know, something over here to steam so I can have some steamed vegetables for lunch or dinner or something and, and save, the, uh, save the electricity or the heat uh, from the stove and just do it all at once. But I'm not gonna need this, I'm gonna fill this up. You know, so I can get three dozen large eggs in this. And all I do, I'm gonna pour this in. Set the basket in. And it's only gonna take two to three minutes for that water to heat up. So, so all I'm gonna do is turn that on. Uh, if, you, if you do the regular method with the water first, Put cold water in there while the uh, eggs are in there and then heat everything up at once. Uh, and once it starts boiling, about 12 to 15 minutes. If you boil the water first and put the eggs in, they'll crack because uh, they didn't get uh, adjusted uh, to the water first because you want to get the water to start heating up a little bit and start heating the eggs up. And once it starts boiling, when they clink together, they won't crack. So that is one tip if you do that method. This one only takes two to three minutes for, for this steam to start happening. It'll help if I put this lid on. Um, on the, uh, the other method, when you're boiling the water first, it takes quite a while for that water to get, to get hot to start boiling. So this is a lot quicker to do this. So all I'm going to do is uh, start putting the eggs in. I can do that with this because by the time I get all the eggs in, it'll start boiling at the bottom. One... Hold on, hold the horses. You need to keep some water um, and hot water, get hot water so it doesn't cool this down too much. But every every three or four or five minutes, you wanna check it and pull, just pour a little water in it. That's all, just to keep the water in it. You don't want it to burn at the bottom with no water in there. So let me get the eggs in.
All right, while these eggs I put on the back burner so I can get this pot going to do the uh, jarring. Um, I have the eggs back here. We have another 10 minutes to go on that. There's water already in here, but not enough to fill the tops. You want about an inch to inch and a half water over the lid so it doesn't go down under the lid and break because uh, you want water to submerge uh, the whole uh, jar with the lid and band. Uh, but I do, let me go fill some of these, these waters up for you. Okay, and what I do, I put them on top here. There's a basket right here. If you guys do not do jarring, there's a basket that sits right up top. Uh, when you're putting these in, you want to put them across from each other so the, the weight balances out. Uh, but what I do is fill these, fill these all with water. And there's seven quarts that fit in here. Seven quarts. So once you get them in here, I think the I think it's It'll work. There you go. How many do I have here? Nope, I'm lying. I usually don't lie on Thursdays. And this is Thursday when I'm doing this video. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven should fit. So maybe you have to talk dirty to it. But seven quarts should fit. Or not. I'm not sure what happened with these uh, quarts here. Uh, maybe these are smaller baskets. There we go. Oh, nope. Well, I'm only going to do six. How about that? Okay, but once I put them in, you drop it in. And the water is almost covering it. It's barely on the top. So you want to add some more water, a little more water. And maybe one more, just for good measure. Uh, but this this right here, that's good. That's like an inch right now. I'll put a little bit more, as long as it doesn't boil over and into the uh, into the pilot eye, because it not be good. There you go. That should be good. And uh, we'll let that we'll let that heat up. I'll take all the water back out of here, and you want to keep. You want to keep the, the water that's in here, but you want to dump all the water that's out of here because the pickling juice will take the place of the water. So that's why we're doing that. So we take all this out. And we have the, the right amount of water that we need in there. Okay, I'm going to place the lid on here so it heats up a little quicker. And we should be good here in another probably 15 minutes for this heat up. This will be done in five minutes, and I'll show you um, how to crack those open by the time these uh, this uh, boils. Um, I have green tomatoes I pickle, I'm pickling cucumbers as well at the same time, and I'm doing one salsa. So I'm doing all that at the same time I'm doing this to try to save, save time to, to have to heat this up for every single one on three different occasions. Might as well heat it up one time and get it over with it at the same time. Uh, if you have hot water in here left over after you pickle, um, I usually take a bath. It's hot water, so you can go ahead and um, use that hot water that you heated for a bath too. So you're welcome. Just money saving tips as I go along. Look at this, folks. I made some um, salsa, authentic. It's authentic because I have the hat on. And yeah, these are little crumbs. But that's all I have left. But this is... Uh, deliciousness. I'll set it up here and put a video real quick for you guys. We just slobber over. Okay. To the eggs, folks. Um, so I got the salsa done, the, the, the green tomatoes, the cucumbers, and now it is time for the moment of truth. Okay, make sure I'm in the shot, because you might not believe it if you don't see it. There we go. And just take this like so, go around the equator, bam, the whole thing comes off. 
That's all you have to do. Since you thought it was a fluke, get this, go around the equator a little bit. Take the whole shell off, and you don't have to worry about the little pieces. Once you get a little, little of that membrane off, it comes right off. Usually, it comes off even better than this, folks. Um, but I don't know. Maybe it's the water in Mississippi. But it actually, uh, there you go. Actually, most of the time it comes off even better than that, if you can believe me. But I'll try to, I'll try to do it one time. There you go. I think I crushed it too much. There you go. It's even easier. Like I'm crushing it too much. Usually I roll it and crush it, but, uh, there you go. Sometimes you can crush it like that and put it in a, a quart jar. Let me see if it works in this quart jar. Put a little bit of water. Okay. Put the, put it in like so. And there you go. The egg is cleaned. Do one more since you didn't think you didn't believe me. Crack it just a little bit, put it in there. There you go. Voila. Okay. Well, I'm about to jar this up. Um, so I'll show you that process. So let me get this cleaned up. Uh, get them jarred in the uh, jars with the pickling, the special secret uh, sweet and spicy concoction deal I got. And I'll be right back with you. We are back with the final process, guys. I already have a couple of these already done. I'll show you the last one on this camera over here. But I have the eggs in a bowl, and I'm just going to put them in the jar. And then add the juice. You only want the ju juice up to the bottom of this rim here. You don't want to go over that because it explode because too much juice. That's what she said. There you go. And I like to do this over over here so I don't get juices everywhere put the funnel on there there we go all there is to it just right down to the bottom and I'm going to show you on this one here on these rims of this, you want a nice seal on it. So you want to wipe this down. Make sure this is dry right there. And all the uh, particles are off of it. Then put the lid on. And again, when I say put the lid on, just, just snug it barely. Just put it on there like so, like that. That's all you got to do as long as it catches. Do that with all of them. And then put them in here for 15 minutes. There you go. You want the uh, air to come to come out of it. If you don't have any way for the air to come out, it will explode. Okay. One in the middle. Put two on the outside to make it even. There you go. There you go. And we have six. So drop it in there slow. Okay. And timer. I'm going to put it for 17 minutes because it didn't start boiling yet. So uh, what I do with quartz, the quartz jars, I put it on 15 minutes to boil it. On um, pints, about 11 to 12 minutes. And that's all the air, the bubbles coming out of the uh, jar already. And I'll show you when they come out what to do with them. Here's the final stage, people. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn this burner off. Get the lid off without my face in front of it to give my face a steam bath. So don't do that. Uh, I do have these uh, to get these out. Um, you could go ahead and lift these out like so. Don't burn your hands. But uh, 
take them out. I drip a little bit of the water off. I put them on a cooling rack or a wooden board. As soon as you put them down in there, you want to tighten the lid. And I'll do that with the other phone. I'll show you real quick. But take them all out. Got my salsa, I got three eggs, I got the cucumbers, and I got the other ones already done. And I'll show you exactly right now. Uh, get me a towel. Okay, these are the ones that just came out. What you want to do, I get the water off real quick. And what you want to do is hurry up and tighten these lids. So tighten the lids, preferably with something, something other than your hand because it's going to burn. So let me... Put that down. And you hear it popping? That means it's sucking the uh, sucking the lid back down. If it does it pretty quick, it's good. You got up to like, they say three to four hours. I wait two hours. If it's not down in two hours, which I'll show you right here. See, it's not down yet, so that's not good yet. Once these are down, like some of these are, see, that's already down. Uh, but you want to go back after two hours and make sure they stay down. Okay, that's the that's the number one thing. Make sure they stay down because if they pop back up, you want to keep them in the refrigerator the entire life of this jar so far. They say you can put them back in there, but you got a chance of the seal not working great. So if they do, like all these, all these are done already. These have been out for over two hours. All these are sealed. But if they pop back up, you want to keep refrigerator. So once they... This one's good. This one's good. The eggs are already good. These three are here and need a little bit more time. But like I said, if they stay up, they just stay in the refrigerator. They're still good. They just stay in the refrigerator. You, you don't want to keep them um, jarred up. These are good if you keep them in a dark um, area, a dark location. Uh, keep these in a dark area. Um, probably about the best if you keep it in like a cellar, like in the basement or something with in the dark. They'll last up to six to six to 12 months. Um, so it just depends who you talk to. They might last two years. Uh, I'll say I'll do that, but I have to say it because it's YouTube. I don't recommend you doing that. Okay. Okay. With that said, I appreciate you guys watching this video. I'm going to get cleaned up here. Um, download this video and get this uh, video out to you because uh, you're watching it. So it already happened. So I'll talk to you later. Hey, welcome to the stove, folks. Um, shit. Let me do it over. Almost. Almost. Okay, at the stove here, um, I have my pickle concoction already made in here. I don't want to give away my secret. So this is the sweet and heat uh, pickle juice uh, miracle liquid stuff. Didn't sound good at all. Ah, damn it. Uh, like I said, there's other ways to do eggs. There's other ways to do other stuff that I do, but I'm just doing it, doing it my way. So with that said, talk to you later. Hey. <laughs> Hey, welcome to the stove. Um, I am um, about to show you how to boil eggs in a minute. Hey, welcome to the stove. Um, I am going to uh, show you uh, how to do... How do you talk about that? Okay, well, thanks for watching the video, guys. Um, I'm going to do more cooking videos in the future. Uh, it just takes a lot of time to do all this and get this video going. And um, and I have about my reviews, uh, my um, food challenges, uh, mukbangs, uh, and other videos that I have out that it's just uh, real time consuming. So I try, I'm, shit, fuck this. This ain't going to cut it.
Hey, thanks for watching the video again. If you haven't visited my website yet, um, the, the address is www.DougGarbageDisposalStore.com. You can navigate through the top, all these links right here. Um, there is actually a question and comment form. If you have any questions or comments, uh, fill that out, and it'll go straight to my email. At the very bottom, there is a free newsletter. Just sign up for right here, um, and you'll get a weekly newsletter. So, uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit see all so you get all the notifications and don't miss the videos. Please comment. I like to um, listen to your comments uh, and respond to you. So I do like to interact with you guys. Uh, please share the video with your friends, family, even your boss. And have a great day. Let's meet other plans.